Hello, Railers fans. Cam McGuire here for our second episode of the Railers Roundup Series as we begin to introduce you to the 2021-22 members of the Worcester Railers Hockey Club. And joined now today by Grant Josephek from Chester, New Jersey. And Grant, want to first off congratulate you on signing your first pro contract and becoming a, a member of the of the Worcester family. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm uh, really, really excited to be here. Mentioned you're from Chester, New Jersey. Spent the last five seasons not too far from Worcester in the good old city of, of Boston at Northeastern University. Just kind of tell us about your five years at Northeastern, and I know you enjoyed it and you loved it so much. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. Um, you know, I met some met some great people there, great teammates, and you know, I learned a lot of stuff from a lot of guys that got up to the NHL. Um, you know, like Gaudet and Secura at Aston Reese. Um, Stevens brothers and um, you know a lot of them you know, played a key role in a, not only me but a lot of other guys development on our team so uh, you know it's just it's super super fun school to go to and um, such a great town and, and a city to be a part of. We well, mentioned some of those dynamic players that you had the chance uh, to play with out your five seasons there and you were on quite some good teams three beanpot championships I believe those were three in a row correct? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, we were, we were kind of, you know, down when we didn't get to go for a fourth with COVID and everything. But, uh, you know, I, I think uh, we got our got our share of wins. In. And you had a chance to, to score a goal in one of those games uh, in, in the bean, in the Beanpot Championship game. That had to be uh, pretty dang cool to, to score a goal at TD Garden. Yeah, there's nothing like it, to be honest. Um, you know, you got your whole f uh, fan section there, um, you know, cheering you on basically like the whole school there. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely something special and, um, you know, something I think everybody should experience. Grant, tell us a little bit about the, the conversations that you had with, with Railers general manager and head coach David Cuniff and, and what attracted you to, to the city of Worcester and ultimately signing a, a contract with the Railers. Yeah. So, uh, after the season, I know, um, David reached out and, uh, and Jason Franzone as well. And, um, you know, they were nonstop ringing my phone and I knew they were very interested and, um, you know, I, I could just tell, like, through my conversations, they wanted to build a culture, um, you know, with the Railers that I felt was very similar to how it was at Northeastern. Um, and I think they, they want to bring in people who have won and, and people who work hard. And um, I think that's something that, that I do very well um, and that I've shown in the past. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely very excited to be a part of it and, and very excited to looking forward to meeting the guys and, um, and getting to work. Grant, tell the fans a little bit about uh, your style of play on the ice. Uh, a heavy point getter, a lot of points at Northeastern, 76 points in your five seasons, 29 goals. But just kind of give a little insight on who Grant Josevec as a, is as a player for, for some fans here in Worcester that might not know much about you. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a pretty quick winger. Um, I like to play, uh, you know, both sides of the puck, um, you know, offense and defense. And um, – you know, I'm not afraid to get my nose dirty too and, and get in the corners and win battles and stuff. Um, that's something I, I really wanted to work on and take pride in this year. Um, and I think I did that very well. And, um, you know, I think I have a very good vision. I think uh, my best asset is probably moving the puck to other guys. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, yeah, can can get some assists this year and uh, and help, help the guys win. A couple more months uh, until the Railers drop the puck here come October. Opening night, October 23rd at the DCU Center. And, and Grant, you talk about the, um, the, the player pool that you had the chance to play with at Northeastern. Uh, one of your teammates, uh, Lincoln Griffin, spent some time during the 2019-20 season here in Worcester. Did he give you any insight as to, to how crazy the building can get at home games and, and, and how loyal the fans are here in the city? I haven't talked to him yet, but uh, I'm definitely going to reach out and, and ask him questions because uh, I definitely want to, you know, obviously know some things going in so it's, uh, and know what to expect. So it's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and, and I look forward to speaking to him about Worcester. Sure thing. Well, we've got some time before we get to October, so kind of give us uh, the lay of the land of, of what's uh, in store the next couple months for you. Yeah, so pretty much just, uh, you know, training as hard as I can to, to be ready for the season and uh, – you know, whenever you go up a step in um, in a league where it's wherever you go from uh, juniors to college, um, college to pro, there, there's always an adjustment period. And uh, so I'm just trying to be as ready as possible for that. 
Um, and so just skating and working out as much as I can. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, good things will come for that. We'll leave you here with, with one more final question, which we'd like to, to ask all of our guests. If there's one thing outside of the rink that you want Worcester Railers fans to know about, which they – might not know about from just reading uh, press releases or articles. What's that one key attribute that you would like uh, the fans to know and, and, and can help me out a little bit as well? Yeah, um, I actually, I love to golf. Um, that was uh, something I really wanted to focus on uh, this summer. Um, I know my grand, my grandfather played it and he loved the game. Um, and I, I never really paid attention to it because I was so busy with hockey. Um, but this summer I definitely, uh, I, I picked up picked up a love for it, and uh, I've been going out with my friends, and you know we've been golfing uh, pr- almost every week. So, it's, how's, uh, how's, how's the game looking these days? I know uh, throughout the years we've had some pretty good pretty good golfers on the, on the team. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Um, I'm still working on it, but uh, you know hopefully some guys in the team can give me some tips too if, uh, if there's some good golfers. Absolutely, and hopefully the weather's still uh, still uh, in golf season come October, and we'll have to to test out those skills out on the links before we drop the puck uh, late October. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Grant, thanks so much for the time. Look forward to to chatting with you uh, throughout the summer and uh, look forward to seeing you in Worcester come October. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to, uh, to be here and to get the season going.